What if I told you that the plant sitting on your windowsill could power your phone? Scientists have discovered something incredible that sounds like science fiction. Living plants can actually generate real electricity without any harm to themselves. Today we'll explore the shocking truth about how nature creates power sources. We're facing an energy crisis that demands revolutionary solutions. But what if the answer was growing right under our noses? Plants don't just make oxygen, they create electrical currents through natural processes. Research teams worldwide have measured actual electricity coming from living vegetation without any damage. Some plants generate more power than others and the results will surprise you. We'll break down the exact science and see real numbers. Every second plants perform photosynthesis by moving millions of electrons through their cellular structure. Plants naturally release sugar compounds through their roots into the surrounding soil environment. Soil bacteria consume these organic compounds and release electrons as waste products. Scientists place special electrodes in the soil to capture these free electrons. The result is measurable electrical current flowing continuously. Unlike solar panels, this process works 24 hours a day. The plant remains completely healthy because we're harvesting natural waste products. This creates a living battery that powers itself as long as the plant lives. Scientists have tested this technology on dozens of different plant species worldwide. A company in the Netherlands called Planty already sells commercial systems for buildings. Their modular panels generate enough power for outdoor lighting and Wi-Fi hotspots. Parks in Europe use this technology to power walkway lighting completely off-grid. Spanish company BioO creates plant pots that can charge smartphones directly. Their garden panels collect energy from photosynthesis and display real-time measurements. These systems work especially well in wetlands and rice farming areas. The technology has progressed from laboratory experiments to consumer products. Commercial installations now power sensors, data networks, and communication equipment reliably. Unlike chemical batteries, these systems produce zero toxic waste over their lifetime. Biosolar cells extract electricity directly from living plant tissue using special electrodes. Researchers insert iron and platinum wires directly into photosynthetic leaf tissue. This method produces higher voltage than soil-based systems in laboratory tests. Algae biophotovoltaic panels use microscopic plants instead of traditional silicon solar cells. These algae systems continue generating small amounts of power even in complete darkness. Hybrid systems combine real plant leaves with artificial components for maximum power output. Moss generates the highest voltage among commonly tested plants according to research data. Root electrode devices harvest energy from natural root metabolism without touching plant tissue. Scientists have documented specific voltage outputs for tomatoes, corn, beans, and other crops. Recent research measured MOS generating 391 millivolts on average in controlled conditions. Tomato plants produced 183 millivolts, while corn plants generated only 62 millivolts. Aloe vera plants generated 141 millivolts, and black bean plants produced 51 millivolts. These measurements represent continuous power generation that operates without interruption for months. One modified plant leaf successfully powered over 100 LED lights simultaneously. Current outputs typically range from 20 microampes per square centimeter in optimal conditions. Connecting multiple plant electricity sources in series increases total voltage output significantly. Unlike intermittent solar power, plant electricity maintains steady output regardless of weather. Current technology works best for low power applications like sensors and LED lighting. These systems excel at powering remote monitoring devices in agricultural and environmental applications. Long term costs remain higher than conventional power sources but eliminate battery replacement needs. Performance varies significantly based on plant health, soil conditions, and environmental factors. Smart farming applications represent the most promising commercial opportunity for this technology. Scaling up requires extensive land area to generate meaningful amounts of electrical power. Future applications could integrate this technology into urban planning and green building design. Ongoing research focuses on developing more efficient electrode materials and connection methods. 
This technology offers decentralized power generation that reduces dependence on centralized electrical grids. Plants continue growing normally throughout the electricity generation process without any stress indicators. These systems provide dual environmental benefits by capturing carbon while producing clean energy. Unlike electronic solar panels, plant systems biodegradable and create zero electronic waste. Soil health actually improves because the system encourages beneficial bacterial growth patterns. Natural ecosystems remain undisturbed since the technology works with existing biological processes. These systems adapt naturally to seasonal variations and maintain power output year-round. Installation requires no water consumption beyond normal plant care and irrigation needs. Air quality improvements occur naturally as plants continue their normal photosynthesis and oxygen production. Large-scale deployment could significantly reduce urban power demands and associated carbon emissions. Building a basic plant electricity demonstration requires copper wire, zinc electrodes and healthy plants. Insert the copper electrode directly into moist soil approximately 2 inches from plant roots. Place the zinc electrode on the opposite side of the pot. Connect multimeter leads to both electrodes and observe steady voltage readings. Electrode spacing affects voltage output with optimal distance varying by plant size. Monitor readings over several hours to observe consistent power generation patterns. Low voltage LEDs can be powered directly by plant electricity systems. Connect multiple plant setups in series to achieve higher voltage for practical applications. Always handle electrodes safely and avoid damaging plant roots during installation procedures. We've explored how plants naturally generate electricity through biological processes that science is learning to harvest. This technology is expanding from research laboratories to real-world applications worldwide. While not replacing large power plants yet, Plan Electricity offers sustainable solutions for specific applications. Urban planners are beginning to integrate this technology into sustainable city development projects. Continued research promises improved efficiency and broader applications in coming years. This technology reconnects us with nature while addressing modern energy challenges. The future of sustainable energy might literally be growing all around us. What plant electricity project would you want to see develop next? Quiz time. Which plant generated the highest voltage in scientific tests? A. Moss, B. Tomato or C. Corn? Answer in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more science content.